All right, we're going straight into it. Welcome back, Edmund. Thank you. Go ahead and uh, talk while I uh, tweet this out. All right, then. Uh, looks like we're just going through a button check right now. OK, cool. Mm. Perfect. And Shine, I wonder, because like Shine, I don't know if you've been seeing these sets, but no, uh, I have not. <laughs> Shine has been just on this weird tear. Like he went through like a randoms ditto and Isabel ditto, and I still don't know who this man plays for realties. His main character is Lucas. Really? Yeah. But he, he I mean, he's a, in all effect a multi-character main. He uses DK for a lot of matchups, um, and. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm outies, guys. Have a great Wednesday. We're going to be joined by Toasty. Toasty! Let me jump over to the left here. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Game number one, Shine K9 S. Bruce. Toasty, take it away. What's up? We're out here in winter semis. Uh, came here a little late. But Shine, uh, he played K9 at... MSM. MSM, or, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty close uh, game three, but now we're in best of five, so this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna be no two ones. This is gonna be either a three or something else. Uh, Shine uh, obviously going DK. That's his character for Wolf. He has a lot of opportunities to just like throw Wolf away off stage. Ooh, immediately gets the down. Sure. Yeah, immediately yeah. gets down B into up smash. So much damage. Excuse me, I'm just trying to let the people know we're commentating. Yeah. Runs off Nair, such a big move. Unfortunately, K9 had to recover, so he wasn't able to finish off the uh, the edge guard against Shine. Shine still at 146. Honestly, between both these characters, they're both at kill percent, but f is going to take it. Looks like not the best DI, though. So, wow, but starting off, we're already getting these uh, these wolf combos. He's getting 40% already, but not too far behind. Neutral air dodge off stage, not going to kill him. Wait, does Shine not have Twitter? It's Shine underscore smash. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. It gets a trade. I actually looked away for a second. I feel bad. I don't know what happened, but all I know is K9 has two full stocks. Shine has one. He's already got him at 45%. And I swear they just started playing. Already K9's just going in. Okie dokie. All right, we're in there. So, all right, Shine down to his last stock, 86%. This is a really bad state for him to be in, especially at the ledge. K9 applying a pressure, trying to set up a ledge trap. I like the way K9 is just like running back, right. waiting to watch what Shine exactly. does. Exactly. Yep, come back and punishing. That's what Wolf does so well. Oh, dude. oh what are you trying to go for? Dude, that would have been nice. Damn, shield so low. He gets a grab right here, just toss him forward, yeah. Interesting. Oh, I think he might be a kill percent. Oh, oh, yes, he God. is. I'd be furious if that happened to me. Man, this is all of a sudden a very, very close game. 134%. I mean, you got to be super careful. Wait a Look minute. at the damage. Please get grabbed again. Yeah, one more grab might do the trick right here, especially with this amount of rage. He's looking for she it. He's actually dude. just walking back and forth with the shielding. He's looking for it. He just needs the condition. K9 wants into something bad, and he's going to get that grab. K9 realizing that, throwing out the lasers. Get away from me. He said, I don't want none of this. I don't know what you're going to do, but I don't I don't want to see it. Yeah, back air, really yeah. well spaced right there. Oh, no. Yeah, right now he's out of the DKO percentage, but now Shina just needs to get a grab. He could probably just throw Wolf off stage, and that's where the edge guarding comes in. Ooh. As we say that. Oh. So close. Right here, uh, if he gets a throw, man, that's that's all she wrote. Uh, K9 will be able to use back throw to get the KO, anything. I mean, forward to, oh, no. Oh, this no, is no. probably oh, it. Yeah, yep, throw dead. him away. Yep. No way, dude. That's like the bane of Wolf's existence in this matchup, dude. You could be at 40, and he could do the same just thing. Just immediately trashed. Yep. <laughs> just the, 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 grab, run off stage, squeeze him like an orange. He's not coming back. Just throw him away. And the edge guarding that DK can do is so, it's so good. He can yeah. just drop off back air, back air immediately. Yep. Yeah, this is a very volatile matchup, I would say. Like, definitely in, in Wolf's favor. Mm -hmm. Especially on, on stage in the neutral, like he, his combo game is going to be like really fierce. But then it's like if you do not get the KO, that DK is going to come back and they're either going to edge guard you super hard or, or you're going to get DKO'd. It's, like. so, it's so crazy. Yeah, like you said, this the, the matchup is good, but the nature of like the heavies like DK and Bowser, just, they can have a bad matchup, but they can just, they can just pull something out and win. Yep. Yeah, heavies are fun. Here we got game number two. We're going right back to P PS2. Uh, slight advantage here for K9. Again, nothing to be surprised about. Setting back to ledge. 
I am a little surprised that a K9 did want to go back to PS2. I do understand it's a good stage for Fox, but you have both those platforms to do the DKL. Oh, dude, that's what I'm talking about. He wasn't even at the, like nowhere near the percent he was at on the last game. He and just... look at how deep that <laughs> th those bla those like bottom blast zones are. There's so much room to just get thrown. That shit sucks. And that was really like well played by Shine too, because at this point he's thinking like, dude, I just lost game one to that. He did that to me again. You know K9 is pissed right now. You know he made the potential for him to be like tilted has doubled. Like right. Wondering if he may loses this game again, if he'll go to a different character, maybe one that won't get edge guarded as hard, just throws him off. Actually I feel like Ooh. he did that to get him into the DKL percentage. Ooh, I like the parry on the actual gun, but not the blaster. All right, here's a forwarder from K9. Tries to convert it into the back air. Uh, didn't quite have the spacing, but that will be a true combo around those two per uh, percents and would have even killed off the side. Oh! oh, yeah, yeah, call that out. Nice. You've got to do that to DK. You have to edge guard him. Every time he comes back, you know every player's thinking, wow, you could really win right now. Yeah. Very, very uh, crucial moment there for K9 going off stage, lining himself above DK and getting that downer spike. Already 61% on to Shine, man. About to be lapped right here. But he still needs to watch out for that grab. I believe he still yeah. is in percent. With the way Shine's playing, he has to be. Oh, yeah. but calling out the jump with the back air, yeah, nice. flies away. Solid two stock. I don't think he even got touched on that, yeah, on that, that second stock. Yeah, that was a zero to death. Shine yeah, was just, he was continuously looking for the grab. And again, that is how you get the kill on Wolf. But sometimes you can just see go so bad so fast. And... It's like ZSS and Smash 4 where it's like you're allowed to go for the grab and get punished a certain amount of times, but sooner or later it's actually going to be not in your favor, and that's just kind of what right. happened to Shino. Yeah, you end up taking too much damage, and then your opponent, like, no, like the, the problem with, like, a setup such as the DKO is that when you want it, your opponent knows you want it because they can tell you're looking for it, and then... At that point, they're doing everything within their power to completely avoid it. And then if they're playing safely and getting the damage in on you, eventually it's like, well, it's not even worth me even going for this anymore because I'm, I'm, I might just die on the next uh, exchange. So like you're saying, you know it, he knows it, everyone in the stage, in the, the crowd knows it. Already starting off again. <laughs> he, uh, Wolf at 60, so you know what time it is. And oh, that's yeah. there's the grab off the platform. Yes, he does it. There we go. Shine Another with the first stock. Another DKO coming in. It's so it's so scary to know at 50%. You you're just done. Yeah. It was nice knowing you. Shane getting another grab. This is where the DK momentum starts coming in. Oh, oh there's those back airs, man. Really good spacing. Don't from do Shine it again. Again. Yep, he's dead. Three stocks to one. Shine looking really fine on this game number three. Bro, if I'm kidding, and I'm like, wait a minute, didn't the game just start? What? Ha not again, please. Actually, only one minute transpired, so that's nuts. Oh, dude, he went deep. Uh, unfortunately, Shine not hitting the ledge. I definitely thought he was going to drop off and down her, but he did not have enough time to down troll. I like how he went a little bit above the platform to again throw Kanan off of his spacing. Oh, nice, catching the jump again yeah. with the back air. Still, he's got to make work right here. He's at 52%. Yeah, he, he needs a, a zero to death again. Yeah. Up throw up there. Wait, we're oh, starting some damage yo, off. Yo, yo, yo. Wait, we're K9. calling him out. Are we getting a down smash too? No. Yeah, really excellent high recovery there from Shine, knowing that uh, K9 was going to go for the edge jump. Oh, He doesn't have a jump. Dude, nope, he's gone. Yikes. Shine going up 2-1 right there. Yeah, when uh, when Shine back him, he took his jump because Kanan was kind of going for the same thing. And at that point, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. This is getting really scary. Wait a minute. All right, so here we go. Game number four. Let's see where we're going to go so far. We've been on PS2 for the entirety of the set, oh, and run right nothing back. is going to change. We're going right back. I would have nightmares about going to PS back to PS2. You got DK, what, four or five times? No, you're not taking me back there. Plus, it's a very wide stage, too, mm -hmm. and that gives, like, more opportunity for TK to just kind of, like, give himself some space, right? Such like, a good stage Whereas, like, Wolf, I feel like he would want to go to a smaller stage so that he can, like, pressure the hell out of, out of DK. Yeah, you would assume he would want to go to maybe Smashville or something. Yeah, yeah Smashville DK can do that DKO, choice. but it's just so little room for DK to move around. I mean, he could do the DKO here. I mean, exactly. pretty much from any position on the stage, he's either going to jump to the left or to the right-hand platform and get that DKO. Like, PS2 was just made for DKO. And it's got a, a, a little bit of a lower ceiling as well. I think Smashville might be lower, but... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. But, again, it's just such a good stage for him. 
But, you know, he does have Sheena at 121%. There's still nothing to scoff at. He does need to avoid uh, getting hit. Oh, and he gets hit by the back end of that down smash. Still really strong and a really, really strong stock right here. Already lapping in percent. The dash, the row, dash attack getting an up tilt in. Oh, nice parry. Oh, so many reads from K9 right here. And K9 definitely needs to carry this momentum into game five. Don't even let Sheena play. Yeah, he's just doing what uh, Sheena did right back to him. In, in game number uh, three. Oh, that still hit him. And he died for oh, that? Oh, 42%? Did he take any damage? <laughs> like, uh, that was kind of <laughs> clean. But right now, K9, he knows he can't get grabbed right now. Forward air train, here they come. All right. Oh, managed to avoid the up tilt follow up with the uh, air dodge. It's right. Still looking. And now Shane doesn't have a jump, but recovering onto the stage, really smart idea. If the, the most cannon could have done after that would have maybe oh, beat a Wolf Flash. Oh, oh my dude. god. Stomp the yard on all, him. All because he went out there to risk it for that down air. But he does have two stocks to one right here. Shine in a really dire state as well, throwing out that uh, giant punch to release some pressure. Right now, Shine does oh, need to get something started, but K9 is play he's so oh, smart. Right. The best defense is a good offense. Don't let him play. Oh, dude, I was going to say, he's starting to throw these up smashes in, which I haven't actually seen that him use that move in the at entirety all. of the set. Yeah, that's crazy. To be fair, oh. we don't really see K9 oh, no. on the ground at all. Tilted. Yeah, you got about tilted. Yeah. That, that would have been true. <laughs> I haven't really been seeing K9 on the ground Back at all. Throw? He's usually just trying to jump around and get away from uh, Shine. Gets the right F tilt, he might take it. Neutral get up, not gonna get there punished, it but is. yeah, swiping left, get out of here. I don't <laughs> like you. <laughs> that anti aired. That's funny. But good stuff to K9. Really played it to a T. And really just took took Shine apart in that game four. And we got a game number five now between these two players so. who are so evenly matched. I believe um Shine might be up in sets since I think the start of Ultimate. No, I think K9 is up. I really? think I think I asked him. I think he said it was three two in K9's favor. So that's like yeah. for more or less even, you know. Yeah, and uh, so far, right now the win condition for K9 is a two stock. Both the games you took were two stock. The times he had one stock, he just they just kind of got deleted. So he just needs to body Shine. Oh no! Speaking of which, dude, talking about bodying Shine. Wait a minute, Shine is, is gonna be the one putting that's K9 in a body bag. That's a clip. That's one of the fastest games in Smash Ultimate Bruh. number six. I felt it coming too, dude. I had yeah. a premonition. Yeah, I feel like K9. Uh, K9 might have been holding down, but at the same time, that foot goes so far below the plaza yeah. zone. It right now, K9 is actually just kind of kicking Shine. Yeah, I mean, he's got to. He's applying so much pressure, and he gets the neutral air into the Miss Tech down smash. Yeah. Really critical for K9. Yeah, don't let that zero to death basically get the get the best of you. Just go back in, get your damage in, and look. It's our, it's almost even. Ooh, dude, he's looking for these forward airs. That's going to be a start of something beautiful. Up throw forward air gets the up tilt on the platform. Another re-grab. Ooh. Ooh, looking for a tech chase. Probably looking for the roll in. Oh, I like the tomahawk, but with the jab is an interesting choice. Right. I think Shina is still looking for a grab. Goes for the down smash, trying to call out Shine, holding past ledge a little bit, but he did did a bit of a fast fall up beat up just to throw K9 off the uh, off guard. And a back throw from K9 here. He shoots a blaster, gets him, spacing that forward tilt by the ledge. Okay, neutral get up, not going to be the smartest option, but quick slap on the slap on the noggin, going to get him off. Right, here come the up smashes, double up smash. He's going to do it again. Oh, there. don't get oh, grabbed. Dude, I thought it was right there. I was like, he's up smash. Honestly, that was probably the play. I like the parry. Yeah, beautiful. I, I wouldn't have shielded that. I didn't think that was going to hit me. And he needed that, too, because if he didn't uh, get that parry, he wouldn't have been in a position where he could have, like, potentially punished. Oh, oh yeah. Shit to the blast Shine, where are you going, dude? You Wait. cannot be off there off, uh, off stage against Wolf like that because he will Wolf Flash oh, and you free. will get spiked. You're definitely taking that damage. Oh, dude. Orange Four. squeeze. Uh, yep, He's back here. He's back. Oh. Yep. Another back air? Oh. No. Dude. Oh, dude, no. Oh, no way. No That's way. unfortunate. Shine is oh. usually so good at getting those edge guards. Messes up once. Yeah, Wolf Flash going to kill him at what, 10, 20? Dude, he was, he was at 21 after the hit. That's I, a, I think he might have been like below below 20. Yeah, I mean below he, 10. He, he didn't have a jump. He, he was he might have been at like 5%. I forget how much damage that does. But like Shine, <laughs> Shine had the edge guard, but he just he messed up like once. That and again. Sucked. You know you hate to see it like that.